Hello guys, I'm back in the Airbus A320 full flight simulator and today we will try to do a belly lining on the Airbus A320. If you haven't, please take a look at the belly lining on the Boeing 737. You will find some things familiar, but some things are definitely different. So, currently the gear selector is in the down position. However, we cannot get the gear down. As you can see, the doors are open, but the gears are stuck. Uh, the ECAM is asking us to do a gravity extension, so we can do it now. I will pull the handle up and twist, turn it three times clockwise until the mechanical stop. Now we wait to see if the alternate extension is successful or it fails. In the meantime, I'll grab my QRH, I'll open abnormal and emergency procedures and page 32. I open the page 32 and 32.03 in fact and it says landing gravity extension. So we have pulled and turned the hand crank, the landing gear lever is down and we see no change, no indications. The gears are still unlocked, they are unsafe. So the extension is unsuccessful. We have to apply the landing with abnormal landing gear procedure. This is on the second page, 32.04. So we start with the preparation. Cabin crew. We can notify the cabin crew. We consider it done. ATC notified. And then we continue. Galley. Galley we select to off. If nose landing gear is abnormal, which it is, we should change our center of gravity position to as aft as possible. This would be by moving some of the passengers to the back of the cabin. However, let's say we are full today, so it's not really an option. Then if one main landing gear is abnormal, we would consider fuel imbalance. However, both main landing gears are uh, abnormal, so we don't need to consider that. Then oxygen crew supply goes to off. Signs, seat belts and no smoking are on. Cabin and cockpit, uh, we need to prepare it. This would be secure the loose equipment, prepare the survival equipment, and belts and shoulder, shoulder harness locked. So I, I am with my seat belts, I can secure the shoulder harnesses. Okay, my shoulder, shoulder harnesses are secured. Uh, next thing would be the approach checklist. We are currently approximately 15 miles from our touchdown point, so we can already start the approach checklist. This would include GPWS system, goes to off, landing gear lever, check that is down, uh, gravity gear extension hand crack, of course we have an indication that the gear is not down, we can cancel that. Gravity gear extension hand crack, we will turn back to normal and we can Uh, anti fuel steering. This goes to. We have another indication that the gear is not down locked. We understand it. We can leave it at that. And we have brake pressure 1000 psi. However, we will have no wheels at all, so this doesn't concern us really much. And uh, since at least one main landing gears are abnormal, we will not use the ground spoilers, so they are disarmed for the landing. Now, to this point, we are done with the checklist. With the abnormal checklist, I'll only grab the normal checklist, so as to check that we have things like flaps and, uh, I don't know, anything else ready. 
So our approach checklist briefing is confirmed. Ecamm status. Okay, we can check the Ecamm status and clear everything what we can. So, Vanninger not unlocked. Clear. Nav GPWS fault. We have turned it off our, by ourselves, so it's clear. Brakes anti skid, nose wheel steering off. Clear. And we have the general status. We can check it. Nothing to. Nothing abnormal besides the whole landing gear issue. So the status is checked. Seat belts are on. We'll use minimums of 200 feet above the ground, category one approach. And engine mode selector is on normal. The next is landing checklist. So we will need to do a few turns and we can get on that later. Okay, so our current speed is 200 knots. We can reduce it back to, let's say, 160 knots and start configuring the aircraft for landing. Because we don't have the gears to slow us down, we will. it will take us a little bit longer to slow down to our approach speed, which will be 126 knots today. So, okay, we are below the green dot speed, flaps one. Flaps 1 checked. We can already go back to flaps 2. And as you can see, the indication is flaps 2 and green. We'll put both ILSS2 on, on the flight control unit. And we can already start turning towards the final. We'll turn to heading 270 degrees to position for ILS on runway 25 left at Brussels. Localizer armed. We have 7.7 .7 miles from touchdown. I do want to reduce the speed to our final approach speed before we catch the glide slope, so I will reduce it now. 126 knots. And we can further extend the flaps. Flaps 3. The localizer is alive and the glide slope is alive. We can arm the approach. Localizer capture. We can go flaps full. Flaps are full and green. And glide slope capture. We will start descending towards the runway. I'll grab my normal checklist, landing, cabin crew, cabin crew, two minutes to landing, cabin crew is advised, auto throttle is on speed, you can see that on the primary flight display, then we have auto brakes are off, and we will not have an ECAM memo landing no blue because we don't have the landing gear down, so the checklist is basically complete. Now I grab my abnormal checklist again. And it says, before landing, ram air on, 
I'll call brace for impact when we are at about minimums of 200 feet above the ground. And then next thing to do is during the landing flare, I will select both engine masters to off to extinguish the engines to cut off the fuel. 1000 feet above the ground. We will not use any reverse, of course, because the engines will be dead. And we will try to maintain a pitch attitude of at least 6 degrees nose up during the landing flare. When the aircraft stops, I will... I'm sorry. We have another indication that the gear is not down. This is as normal as it can be in this case. So after the landing, when we are on the ground and stopped, I will push all the engine and APU fire push buttons and discharge all the agents so as to prevent any fire. And after that, we will evacuate. So, ram air. On. I'll disconnect the autopilot. Minimum. Landing. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. One hundred. Okay. Thrust levers idle, masters off. And impact. The simulator goes a little bit crazy at this point. And then, fire push buttons all pushed, agents discharged, evacuation command, and this is emergency, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. We can turn the sound off, and at this point, I'm leaving the aircraft. 